So yeah, finished that three-man Mewtwo and finished it with like 50-something seconds left. Pretty easy peasy. Again, it didn't have focus blast, but pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, it was first time for um, Wolf 320 and Nano 7 Snorlax to do a three-man. So I uh, want to say thank you to them for doing that. And let's go to the breakdown of of the solo. I mean, not the solo. <laughs> the three-man. It was pretty easy. Pretty easy. I love Tyranitar. Breakdown. So the first one there is 907 Snorlax, middle is me, and the last one is Wolf 320's uh, party for Mewtwo. It was a pretty easy fight. We had pretty much... I didn't have to re-lobby at all because I had Tarantar and Mewtwo had Psychic. So I was just tanking every single one. I didn't even dodge once because... I had the B team ready to go, and I would have showed you what the B team was, but I didn't have to go to it. It was just a just in case it had Focus Blast or any other move set. But I was doing seven to eight bites and then getting a crunch out of it. So, and with Bite doing seven damage, it adds up. You know, just get your Tyranitar that's uh, with an attack stat of 14 or 15 to at least 27.5, and you'll do almost as good as this it's just easy easy peasy <clears throat> yeah just tarantar even if it has focus blast i would have a, a team of tarantar go in get their butts kicked and have a b team of um of other stuff but yeah it was relatively easy like i said i didn't even dodge once but i want to say thank you so much for for trying to three man with me there's this misconception that Mewtwo is difficult. Like, a Latios is more difficult. A Latias is more difficult than a Mewtwo. And, you know, it's, um, if you look at its uh, attack stats, yeah, it's sky high, but its defense is not as high as a, say, Kyogre or a Groudon. Yeah, it's just that they're really rare. These EX raid passes, well, not so much anymore, but, you know. Not a lot of people have a chance to go against these so often. Like I feel like here in Anchorage, Alaska, we've been spoiled. I feel like I've been spoiled. This Mewtwo I just caught has a 15 attack stat. 91%, 15, 14, 12. So it's not too lacking. I would power it up. It's pretty good. <sighs> yeah, so there it is. We've had Mewtwo for almost nine months. And I feel like... It was a lot harder back then because we didn't know the proper counters, but then Gen 3 came out. Most people have enough candy and good Tarantars now that they can pretty much, you know, four or five man this. But, you know, it's pretty much a challenge. I like three manning this. More balls, more chances, just in case. Like, if you've ever lost a Mewtwo before, it feels horrible. So that's why I like doing the three mans. It's like um, everyone gets a chance to feel like their investments in their Stardust were well spent and i want to thank you again wolf 320 and 907 snorlax for spending your stardust and three manning this with me because it's so fun i like it a lot but yeah nine months of mewtwo almost um when we came out what september 15th ish so yeah we're almost there the nine month mark like a little baby but yeah i remember it was like that loop first get a the raid loop get a machamp first use machamp to get a trantar then use a trantar to you know, get a Alakazam, and then use your Alakazam to get a Machamp, to get a Trantar, to get an Alakazam, and then do it over again. So, we're now we have like legendary raids and uh, XP is flowing like the wind, and yeah, so far the best legendary to use against Mewtwo is Mewtwo itself. So it's kind of weird. So the more Mewtwo you get, the more chances you can go against another focus blast Mewtwo but yeah nine months that's crazy so again it's not a bad Mewtwo 15 14 12 I would power that up but um I'll probably have another episode of uh, I have a few Mewtwo I want to power up and I want to go through each one to let you know which one I pick and why all right well again Thank you, team. Yeah, it was a full team instinct one. Be excellent.
and uh, see you next Rantar. Like.